for sports for the next thousand years. ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. From the strength sapping heat of early summer, pro football is playing. Shining bright when the PGA Tour launches into a new century of golf at the 2000 Mercedes Championships. Second round coverage Saturday on ESPN. The Argentine Open Polo Championship Thursday on ESPN. Pennsylvania Bob Poppins, Teddy Atlas, Paul Spadafora, Renato Cornette begin round number 10, scheduled for 12. The first title defense for Paul Spadafora. He is the reigning IBF lightweight champion of the world. Cornette ranked number 5 by the IBF. From Australia, Spadafora has dominated no knockdowns in the fight. Cornette has been the busier of the two overall. But he has not landed double-digit punches in any round, according to Joe Conicelli. And so Robbie Lawrence and Tommy Bob. And again, Spadafora digs to the body as we look at power numbers through nine. And now cut along the eye of Cornette. Are we waiting for that? He has those high cheekbones, those eyebrows, those protruding eyebrows. And he's getting it. Spadafora stepped in the gas up a little bit. And those body shots earlier in the round, as you talked about, Bob, they hurt Cornette. 
I think Spadafore can start to pick a spot a little here. Bend like he's going to the body and go to the head. And even some blood from the bridge of the nose from Fournette. What we said earlier, you can see looking at him, he has that older look of face. He's been in a lot of fights, a lot of rounds. Like we said, he was going 10 rounds in the third pro fight. A lot of leather has touched that face. presents Know the Game. The South American Formula 3 Championship began in 1987, replacing the old Formula 2 Coda Sewer competitions. Since then, many world-class drivers have emerged from these championships, such as Formula 1 drivers Rubens Barrichello and Ricardo Zonta, and kart drivers Christian Fittipaldi and Helio Castroneves. The winner of each year's championship is allowed to receive the super license required to drive in Formula 1 competitions. Know the Game. Thank you. 
Michael Cornette. Well, he said he was trying to butt him. And sometimes when a guy's behind, he has no chance. They get desperate. I take this moment right now to mention that we have an old-time fan out there, Bob. A guy named Shoop, Jimmy Troopier. 73rd birthday. Somebody told me that he doesn't do anything when the Friday night fight's on. Big fan of the show. Happy birthday, Jimmy Troopier. All right, Paul Spadafora fights like an old-timer. Very skilled. We will hear from Spadafora. He comes up with a win. The TKO round number 11. He was dominating this fight against Renato Cornette. He defends his title for the first time. Let's check in with Brian and Matt. Guys. Bob, thank you very much. Yeah, in a few moments, we'll get we'll talk to the Pittsburgh kid, new Pittsburgh kid. And in round 10, I saw guys zoned in like he, you guys did. If you guys moved their head like that, I saw if you guys zoned in doing everything almost perfectly. And speaking of the Pittsburgh kid, Tim Con, Billy Con's son, is in the audience tonight. I wonder what he's thinking right now about the new Pittsburgh kid. You know, the first time I saw Spadafora on our air uh, about a year ago against Gerard, I, this is the kind of fighter I hoped he could become. Then against Steve Martinez, he didn't look so good, and I said it. Against Cardona, he looked dominant, and now he's continuing to look dominant against Renato Cornette. And this is Renato Cornette, not Roberto Duran. If a guy like Felix Trinidad or Mark Two Sharp Johnson or a guy like that dominated a cornet caliber fighter we wouldn't be praising him to the to the sky but spadafora is building something special here shutting fighters out winning every single round floyd mayweather stevie johnson level just below that level far below that level i think spadafora has a chance to develop into a 